Hello friends, welcome to Leg Life and welcome here to downtown Orlando, Florida. Uh, today's Monday, I am about to go into my first meeting at a place called Craft and Common, I think. It's uh, like a coffee meeting shop downtown Orlando. Uh, I have a couple of meetings here today. I'm gonna try to bring you along though because honestly, I've never spent much time in downtown Orlando. For as many times as Sherry and I have come here, uh, downtown is just never a place that we've gone. We always go to like Disney or Universal or we stay with friends or just not downtown. So I'm hoping, fingers crossed, have a little bit of time today to go walk around. But first, let's go to our first meeting. It is an absolutely beautiful day, definitely the warmest day since I've been here, which I'm actually not mad about because I know that I'm heading back to Alaska in like February. Um, I will take the heat while I can get it. This looks like a scene out of a horror movie. Can you guys see all of the like black birds just circling the top of that building? This is fun. Looks like there's an ax throw in place right here in downtown. And there's a sign here that says uh, the Dr. Phillips Center, which is the performing arts center here in downtown Orlando, is that way. Had the chance a couple nights ago to go see Wicked, which is very cool. And that was where the show was. This is us. Well, just like that, meetings there are done. Uh, that was a great place. I didn't have any time to film inside because everybody was already there when I got there and so we just like jumped right into business. Um, I would absolutely go back there though. We had lunch there, uh, we had coffees there, and it was just great. Also, they had really, really fast internet, which is like what our group needed. Um, so, that place, a success. Now, before I have to head out of downtown, I wanna go check something over here that I saw as I drove in. So as I was walking to the place I'm heading next, I passed the Cathedral Church of St. Luke and it's really pretty. And so I was like, I'm just gonna stop and read the sign. And I thought this was really cool. Um, this Gothic Revival building was designed by the architect, Philip H. Froman, who also served as the chief architect of the Washington National Cathedral. I love that. I would love to be able to go inside. You guys know. I love churches. The inside of them are just so beautiful, so peaceful. I bet that one is beautiful as well. All right, this is what I saw driving by. It was a beautiful lake. And I'm gonna walk you up and just kind of show you what caught my eye, but I think this is interesting. I didn't know this was here. It is the Walt Disney Amphitheater at Lake Eola. It's pretty cool. Also, is there no end to things that are named Disney here in Orlando. Because at the Dr. Phillips Center for Wicked the other night, it was also in the Walt Disney Theater. You can see lots of greenery around the park. This trail looks like it goes all the way around. And then they have the, looks like the Linton Allen Memorial Fountain out there in the middle. So this park was established in 1883 as the city of Orlando's very first public park and you can see there's like art kind of all the way around it looks like some more sculptures and stuff and then that fountain right there in the middle and then I just saw this it's kind of cool the way they have it coming out of the ground dang Orlando I'm uh, more impressed every time I visit but I need to get going because I have more work to do so I'm gonna put you guys down for now and I'll pick you up sometime later Hello friends, it is the next day. It is Tuesday, he asked with a question. I'm looking and yes, it is Tuesday the 31st. Um, how weird that we are already through the month of January. That That's odd. I know that it's cliche, but it really is true that time continues to go faster and faster. I remember hearing my parents say that growing up and thinking, what are you old people talking about? And now I am said old people, and it's just true. Time flies. I cannot believe we're already a twelfth of the way through the month. The month? Nope. The year of 2023. Um, I woke up early this morning, got some work stuff, got through emails this morning, which was nice. I've already checked in for my flight tomorrow morning, and Alaska Airlines upgraded me to first class on the 
Orlando to Seattle flight, which is the longest leg. Like that's the one you want to get upgraded on. Uh, Seattle to Anchorage is only like three hours, easy flight. Uh, but the Orlando to Seattle, that's the one I wanted. And they put me in seat 1C. So very excited about that. It makes a long travel day significantly more comfortable. So I'm stoked. Uh, got a couple things I want to go do today, but I'm actually going to run by Sam's Club and uh, pick up something. And then I'm off to a coffee shop, actually the one you saw in the last vlog, Foxtail in Lake Nona, which is basically just like my office now. Like I, if I lived here, that is the coffee shop I would be at probably every day working from. Uh, I just love it. The people there are great. I really enjoy working there. I feel like I'm super productive. I actually was there until seven last night, maybe later, getting work stuff done. And it was just, it was perfect. So let's get our last day in Florida going. And then tomorrow, back home to Alaska to see Sherry and um, back to the not warmth. And honestly, excited to get back home. I love traveling, love, love, love to travel, but it is always nice to go home. All right, here we go. Stop number one, Sam's Club. You guys know that I am a Costco guy, but I've got to say, I've been to Sam's Club a few times recently and I'm super impressed with them. In fact, if we still had them in Anchorage, I actually think that I would consider switching. There's just some things about Sam's Club that I like more. I love the whole checkout process. Uh, I love the whole like scan as you go. I don't know, it feels like a better shopping experience and honestly, the products they have feel basically the same. Things you do not see sold at big box stores in Alaska in the winter. Okay, they even have the chicken pot pies and the street taco kits. There's this island fin poke uh, spot right here and one of you actually in our last vlog recommended this to me. So, not gonna have time to go today, but it's on our list for next time we're in Lake Nona. Okay, I just got to the place where my last meeting is. It is called the East End Market, the East Side Market, the East Something Market. Um, never been here before. I did go on the website when I knew this was where we were meeting and it looks awesome. It kind of looks like, um, I don't know, maybe a place with lots of different vendors, food stalls, that kind of thing. Uh, so, I have to get inside. I'm like two minutes late to the meeting, but then after it's over, I want to walk around and show you a little bit. Okay, the first two stores I see is something called The Donut Dealer and Winter Park Biscuits. So, already a fan. Okay, I love this. You can see lots of different booths here. Here's one called um, Hinkley's Fancy Meats. We've got some salami, some chorizo, a maple, a maple, bourbon bacon jam oh my goodness wait a second they have a Gideon's Bakehouse here uh, I have never had it and so many of you guys have told me to try Gideon's so maybe before I leave I will we'll see in here one of the booths is like a little vintage store and they have like vintage NFL helmets and one of the ones they have is a Kansas City Chiefs helmet all right, it would be a huge pain to get this thing home, but this is exactly the size and kind of plant I'm looking for for one of the hanging baskets at home. Can you imagine me just bringing that as a carry-on from Florida back to Alaska? All right, so now I'm upstairs on the second floor, and I think there's another shop or more shops up here. And actually, there are more stores upstairs, uh, unfortunately, closed today, Thursday through Saturday, and then Sunday, um, but, it looks like a lot of cool things. Wait, what is that? A gin lover's jigsaw puzzle. And out here they have a whole bunch of tables, seating area to get your food and eat lunch. All right, listen, after what feels like years of you guys telling me I had to try Gideon's, it's gonna happen. I had no idea. This was like the OG location. So when I, uh, when I placed my order, she was like, is this your favorite cookie? And I was like, I don't know. Like, this is my first time here. And she, it was funny because she just kind of like stared at me like, wait, really? Uh, and so I told her, I was like, yeah, I'm not from here. Uh, I kind of explained to her that every time we've come down here and like seen it at Disney Springs, the line is crazy. And so I walked right up. There was literally nobody in line. And I ordered my Gideon's cookie. Now, before I take a bite, let me explain why I have not been like super hyped on waiting in a line because I'm struggling to think about 
how good can a cookie be? Like, I mean, cookies are always great, right? But like, isn't it just a cookie? We'll see. So I went with the like double chocolate chocolate. It is a chocolate cookie covered in, it, it, this thing is so heavy. Like there is no way this is all getting eaten right now. Um, smells spectacular. Here we go. Oh. Wait, it's like salty. Okay. Okay. Um, it's way better than I expected. It is definitely one of the better cookies I've ever had in my life. It's super chocolatey, but the highlight for me really is like that salt. I guess if I would have looked on there, I would have seen that first. Um, this is really good. Probably because I got like the double chocolate. It is really rich. So like one more bite and I'm gonna be done with this. Sherry and I would split one of these for sure and still probably have left over. I'm glad I tried this. Now, would I wait in the Disney Springs line for this? No, I wouldn't. It's really good. If I came back here to this East End Market, would I get one of these? Absolutely. Will I bring Sherry here to get one in the future? Yes. Would I wait in the line? No. I'm gonna eat this though. I have to say the East End Market was amazing. It was perfect just for a few of us to sit down outside. We just grabbed the table, had our meeting. Um, I got, as I left, a Skybird Tropical Kale Juice because, I don't know, after half of a Gideon's Bakehouse cookie, <laughs> you wanna do something to make you feel like you're making slightly healthy choices. Holy cow, that cookie. Um, this place was great. I would come back here in a second. In fact, if I lived here, this is a place that I would come to for cheeses and meats and juices and just like they have a couple of cool little shops. I wish the shops upstairs would have been open today because there were two of them that I really wanted to look in, but they were both closed. So next time I come to Orlando, I think I want to come back to the East End Market. Uh, I'd also like to try some more of the food around there. It looked awesome. And I'm officially done, well, no. My meetings are officially done. I have some more work that I need to do. Uh, I think I'm gonna go back to the house and I'm gonna just sit at my laptop and do some work. Uh, and then tomorrow morning, I begin the long journey home. I can't remember if I said this, but um, I have to be to the airport at like 5 a.m. Auburn is actually gonna drive me, which is super nice. I planned on taking an Uber and she said she'd take me, um, which, amazing. And I leave at 7 a.m. And then I think I get home tomorrow at 3.30 is the plan. I don't have a very long layover in Seattle, which is great. So I'll be home in time to have dinner with Sherry tomorrow. Just talked with her on the phone. She is doing well, just kind of focusing on some work stuff today. And um, you guys, I know this is a short vlog, but it's where I'm gonna end it. Uh, I need to pack tonight. I need to edit this video and get it ready to be posted for you guys. And then I'm not gonna vlog on my trip home. I'm just going to enjoy the trip. Excited to be back home, excited to be with Sherry. But man, what a what a good trip this has been. I will say this has been a very successful trip. I feel like it's been unbelievably productive. All of the work stuff I came down here for was really good. Like it was very worth it, very successful. Um, I haven't been able to go into details really about what I'm doing down here. I think the best way I could put it is that I've been consulting with an organization, uh, kind of helping them with some of their organizational structure, maybe some changes in how they do things and what they do, and those meetings went really well. Uh, super productive, their whole team's on board, there's a lot of unity in their direction, and that was my goal. Um, so success. I get to go home feeling like this was a successful trip, and that's that's what I love. I just, it was worth it. And I got to see Sarah, Auburn, Emma, got to hang out with them. It was just so darn good. Friends, I love you so much. Um, we'll pick up the vlog sometime in the next couple days and uh, show you life back in Alaska when I get there. So, we love you. We'll see you soon.